Wombat, what did you got there, bud? This is my Beretta 92 FS that uh, hasn't made an appearance on the channel in quite some time. Yeah, ever since you got that M&P, you know, you've just been kind of running the guts out of it. I understand you have a video series that you're looking to kind of, that we're going to be starting here pretty soon. Yeah, what we're looking to do here is uh, just display some of the personal weapons that us VSO guys keep on our nightstands at home uh, to keep ourselves and our families safe. And this one in particular, uh, the Beretta 92 FS, this is the first handgun that I actually ever purchased. It's about five years old now. Uh, this is what most often stays on my nightstand at night. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. First and foremost, and I know this is a little bit of a controversial topic. Different people have had different experiences. But this gun has been outstanding as far as reliability goes. Uh, we're pushing, I'm going to give a rough estimate of over 10,000 rounds on this gun in the last few years. And we've seen less than five malfunctions out of it. So this is something that if I would ever need it, I know that it's going to be there to work for me. Uh, another really important feature on this gun uh, is that it has a really, really sensible setup as far as the controls go. Uh, it does have a manual safety, which is something that a lot of people are not huge fans of. But I personally find this safety to be very practical. It's just a very easy to reach lever located right up here. And one thing about it that's really nice is that it is spring loaded. So if I just pressure that in with my thumb, I just get a little bit of pressure on there, it comes right off. Okay. Now it's also a drop safe gun. As you can see, your firing pin block will pop out of the way as you depress the trigger. So that uh, does make it a very good option. If you would be in a disoriented state, like say you're laying in bed and your glass breaks at four o'clock in the morning, you go grabbing for your gun, maybe you do knock it off the nightstand. Uh, most modern semi-automatic pistols do have that drop safe feature. This is not an exception to that. A uh, couple of features on it that I personally, even though I am a huge fan of this gun, I think it's absolutely superb. A uh, couple of things that I do think take away from it a little bit is even though it is a very large full-size handgun, very thick, very tall, and very long as well, uh, every dimension on it, it's just quite large. Uh, the magazine capacity on it, stock, is actually only 15 rounds. And most of your other full-size handguns, your Glocks, your full-size M&Ps, they're going to be around in the 17-round range. So you do uh, actually lose a couple of rounds here compared to some of the other uh, handguns in this class. But that being said, uh, you can easily upgrade the magazines with it to 18-round ones from Metgar, which, uh, as far as aftermarket mags go, I'd normally discourage people from that. The Metgar ones for the Beretta 92 series are amazing. It's okay, so absolutely fantastic. But uh, so you don't get outstanding magazine capacity on it right off, right out of the gate. Uh, another re really big drawback on it is the trigger. Uh, it's a double and single action firearm. So those of you who are a little bit new to firearms, that is going to give you two different types of trigger pulls as you would fire this weapon. And the double action trigger pull, while I think it serves a good role as a safety feature i think it's excessively heavy uh, it takes a lot of pressure and time to get that trigger back all the way it is a smooth trigger but it's just in my opinion it's a little bit heavier than it needs to be uh, in order to be a safe trigger but that being said once you get this gun into the single action mode where your hammer would be located in the uh, down position it's a great trigger very light very crisp uh, superb trigger in the single action mode while it's smooth in double action i think it is a little bit excessively heavy however if you're in a life or death situation probably not something you're really going to notice um, as far as the other controls on it go i think the ergonomics are outstanding and even though i'm somebody who has very small hands and this is a physically large handgun the slide release mechanism very easy to get to a nice long lever there very easy not a lot of force required. I can just sweep my thumb down to do quick reloads with this gun. Uh, the magazine release is very positive, very easy to access. So uh, the other controls on it may be a little bit misleading. When you pick it up, it does feel very large in your hands, but they're actually very easy to reach. All the controls, the safety, the decocking, slide release, all that stuff is readily accessible for any size shooter, really. Uh, the factory sights on it are outstanding. They're integrated directly into the slide. So there's no real danger of knocking these out of alignment or anything like that. They're sighted in right on at the factory. Nothing you have to mess with there. Okay. 
So to sum it up, what I've gotten with this gun, my experience is that it has been superb as far as reliability goes. A very comfortable gun to shoot. Definitely if you're a new shooter, this is not something that's gonna uh, throw you around a lot. Very easy to control. You're gonna get an accurate, reliable, and also really affordable gun. Uh, when I purchased this handgun, it was around $600. Uh, nowadays, I do think they're running a little bit closer to around the seven range from what I've seen. And that does lead me into the newer version of this that has come out, uh, the M9A1, which is essentially this pistol, but it has one very critical uh, home defense feature that is missing on here, which is an attachment for a light. And you'll hear us time and time again reinforce that having a light source mounted on your home defense firearm is just absolutely critical. And this is lacking. I do have to keep a flashlight on the nightstand with this. But despite that drawback, since it has been so reliable and I've just had such a great experience with it, I still keep it on the nightstand and just trust it implicitly. You just pissed a lot of people off with keeping a light source on your gun, by the way. How so? Huh? There's, a, there's a raging argument on whether or not you should have a light source on your gun or not. I would not. rather have a light source on my gun. So would I. But... Uh, I'm interested. I'm interested to see how that goes, but I 100% agree with you. And I was kind of hoping that you weren't going to say anything about the M9A1, so I could jump at the video. But it doesn't look like I get any video time today. <laughs> you can shoot it. We'll pay him talk about it. <laughs> no, nah, it's okay.